Hey guys, my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Facebook lead ads. Uh, lead ads are one of the best method of lead generation and um, it's just a really efficient way to showcase your ad on different platforms such as Facebook feed, Instagram um, and on Messenger. And uh, with lead ads, you are making it super easy for your audience uh, to click on the call to action button, fill out a form uh, and then submit it uh, based on the offer that you're providing. And the best part is uh, with lead ads, Facebook is automatically able to pull in, um, you know, personal details like first name, last name and email address. Um, and um, the end user will all they have to do is, you know, review the information and hit the submit button. So uh, it's it's really good to collect leads on mobile, reduce, you know, drop off rates. And, um, you know, you are also able to add custom questions and you can use um, some of the, you know, integration tools like Zapier to connect your lead ads uh, to your CRM so that anytime someone fills out a lead ad form, uh, it gets stored in your CRM such as Salesforce or HubSpot. Um, and just to show you, you know, how a lead ads look like. Um, so this is an example from Mercedes Benz and uh, you can use like a video or an image and clicking on the learn more button will open a website or a form. Um, and basically, you know, you can fill out the details and collect information and that's it. So, um, let's get started and um, talk about how to set up a lead ad and how to run a lead generation campaign. So once you log into your ads manager, uh, click on the create icon and uh, choose the uh, lead generation as your objective um, and provide a name to the campaign and then hit continue. Now, one thing to keep in mind is um, with lead generation as your marketing objective, uh, you are not able to select all the different ad placements that Facebook provides. Um, so before we do that, let's give our ad a name. So I just gave a name and then um, you can run your ad on Facebook page. Um, so you need to select your Facebook page over here and then this is where you will select your audience. Um, you can use your custom audience, lookalike audience or saved audience. Uh, but don't worry if you don't have an audience set up. Um, you can use location and detail targeting. Uh, if you want to know more information about how to set up a custom and lookalike audience, uh, make sure to check the, the link in the description uh, where I have a complete tutorial on how to set up uh, different custom audiences. So um, I will use location option and then I will just type in um, the name of the state. I want to target all the people in Florida. So I've selected the state and then in terms of detail targeting, um, I'm interested in all the people who are interested in online marketing. Uh, so I'm going to select you know, online marketing as field of study, and then I'm gonna select suggestions, so online advertising, social media marketing, digital marketing strategies. So you can select a bunch of them uh, based on their interest, behavior, job title, employer, and so on. You can even exclude people. Um, and then once you're happy with your estimated daily results, um, you can move on and um, choose the placement. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you click on edit placements, your lead generation ad is only eligible to be displayed on Facebook and Instagram. So, um, as you can see, um, as you can see, I, I don't want my lead generation ad to be displayed on marketplace. So I'm going to uncheck it. Um, stories is fine. Instant article is fine. And then Instagram feed and stories looks good. So yeah, with lead generation, you are not able to show your ad on audience network. So that's one thing to keep in mind. 
Um, so I think I'm happy with these, you know, ad placements. Um, moving on, um, I will set my daily budget as, let's say, $10. Um, and depending on the budget, as you can see, your daily results will change. Generally, I would recommend, you know, use, using lowest cost. Uh, and if you are not sure about your uh, you know, profit margin and uh, what's uh, an average cost of a lead for your you know business then um, I recommend not setting a bid cap uh, let Facebook do the magic of you know finding new leads um, and after a week you can start analyzing what's the cost per lead uh, and if you feel that it's getting too expensive uh, only then you choose this option and set a bid cap okay hit continue okay um, you name your ad campaign and then um, I've selected my Facebook page. Um, again, uh, the formats that you can use is carousel, single image, single video, and slideshow. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna use a single image for this example. Um, and I'm gonna use a free stock image. Uh, I think, uh, okay, I'm just gonna pick a random image. Uh, but you can obviously upload your own images, um, which is the ideal way to do that. Um, so I just want one ad. Okay, so that's my image. And add a headline. Um, you can even add a display link. So I'm just going to add a link to my website. So that's how it will look like. Um, and then since it's a download offer, I'm going to select download as the call to action button. Okay. Now this is where you will create your lead form. Um, so if you are starting out for the first time, then you can create uh, a form using this plus new form option, uh, provide a lead, uh, provide a name. So this is like lead generation for SEO. Tools, um, and then um, you can select your intro. So your headline will appear over your SEO tool. Compare. So that's your headline. Um, you can use the same image that you are using for your ad. Uh, so that way, you know, users won't get confused. But if you want to use a different image, uh, you can choose this option. Uh, this is where you know you can add more information uh, visit website and download a PDF about all the best SEO tools in the industry um, get a comparison report blah 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 so that's how you know your description will look like you can provide you know um, as much information about the offer so that you can you can convince your audience uh, of why they need to fill out the form um, so that's fine and um, this is where you know you will configure all your questions now by default you have your first name uh, and your email um, actually it's not a first name it's full name I highly recommend you know choosing first name and last name as separate options um, because in your CRM data or CRM database, uh, it will be much cleaner if you use you know two separate uh, fields instead of full name. So I think um, I'm going to choose a couple of them that is relevant over here. Um, if you are running um, your lead ad in Europe, then you need to be a little bit more careful in terms of demographic questions like gender and you know uh, date of birth. Um, so always keep in mind the more questions you ask the 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 higher the chances are that they will abandon or your conversion rate might go go down so if the offer is like really good and you know it's going to be um highly useful then you can add more questions but um keep your questions short so that your form is you know um small enough so that they can quickly fill out and hit submit okay so I think uh, that's enough um, as I mentioned earlier you can add custom questions
for example let's say you have a drop down select or something like that so you can have like multiple choice question conditional um, and appointment scheduling I'm happy with these questions um, again a privacy policy is important so you link to your website's privacy policy page over here um, actually that should go over here um, you add a link to your privacy policy um, text okay I think that's fine and then if you want to add additional disclaimer um, so like let's say you are running uh, a sweepstake contact contest or a giveaway contest then um, you can add disclaimer and then finally in your thank you screen um, you know you can utilize the, this opportunity to send them to your website so I think that looks good and then you hit save and then finish all right I need to add my website URL all right so that's how you know you create a new lead ad form um, and assign that lead ad to your campaign and then you hit confirm awesome so uh, your ad is publishing and um, after Facebook reviews your ad it should be good to go um, one thing to keep in mind after uh, a, a couple of you know hours or a couple of days uh, you start getting results and um, you can calculate your cost per result uh, based on this column so um, let's say you know it it's like five dollars for one lead um, you can actually analyze this column to figure out if you want to set a bid cap or if you want to optimize your ad change your ad your targeting uh, based on your cost per result column and this is where you will see the results from your lead ad so that's it guys um, for Facebook lead ads tutorial um, I'm sure you know this uh, tutorial will help you to run your next campaign and capture new leads um, if you have any questions uh, let me know in the comment section I will be uploading weekly digital marketing videos so make sure to subscribe to my channel any likes and comments are appreciated and I'll see you next time Thank you.